I seriously think that the individual, the parties responsible for revealing the piece of information about the NCLEX, the first person that decided to tell everyone that the NCLEX was 75 questions and that after 75 questions, the computer shut off, and that some people got 265 questions. I think the person that revealed that information deserves a throat punch. You have set up every single nurse for the worst amount of stress possible. You've already mind-fucked us. We spend our entire school years, entire time studying for this one exam, that defines our career, and we already know in the back of our mind, the minute we get in front of the screen, that if I have to answer question number 76, oh my god, I failed. Oh my god, I failed. I'm number 79, 80. Oh my god, question 100. Why am I even still here? Just turn the computer off. Why am I even trying? I didn't get 75. The person who revealed that needs to be throat punched because I would like to do that. I was an individual that had to answer more than 75 questions. If you have to know, I answered 100 questions. Four people that took the exam with me, four people, two of them answered 75 questions. I was maybe the only one that had to answer 100 questions. And I had completely convinced myself that I had freaking failed. So, thank you very much to whomever decided to share that piece of information. While we're on the subject, if you're going to take your NCLEX exam, if you're going to take any major exam, there's a couple things that are completely acceptable. It's completely acceptable to pass out. It's completely acceptable to throw up more than once. So, you know, if you need to pass out, make sure you have a friend around. And if you have to throw up, make sure you don't do it on the monitor or the keyboard. Make sure you actually try and hold it in and step away to the bath. Granted, the passing out and the vomiting are going to count towards your total time to take your exam, but I would think it's quite appropriate to step away to go ahead and take care of those bodily functions. Not that I'm speaking from experience, although I did have a friend who vomited in the bathroom prior to the exam. This has been a public service announcement from the profession of nursing. Thank you.